Hi everyone, Debbie Basil here. I am an independent consultant and area manager with Arbonne International, as well as a salon owner of SAS Salon in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, I get the privilege of interviewing Christina Snyder for our Women in Insurance and Financial Services group. Christina, would you please tell me who you are and what you do? Debbie, I'm so excited to be here with you. My name is Christina Snyder. I am a certified financial planner and I specialize in retirement income planning. Okay, so for the regular person, what does that mean? Well, Debbie, uh, I work with uh, successful business owners just like yourself and I also work with retirees and I help them design what I call a purpose-based life plan where you're aligning your vision of what's important to you with your finances. What I've realized is that if we can identify our specific purpose, you know, what brings meaning into our lives, then money becomes more intentional. You know, we, we, we can then think about how can we make our money work better for what we want to accomplish. That way, our financial decisions, how we're growing our assets is organized in such a way to meet that specific purpose that we have in mind, that vision. And if we can get that right, Debbie, then we get excited about the future. And not only that, we live life on our terms with confidence and financial dignity. That is great. And you obviously know what you're doing because recently you were named one of the top 100 people in finance in the Top 100 magazine. That is awesome. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, thank you so much. Right. So now, getting back to Women in Insurance and Financial Services Group, tell me what roles have you played in this group since you have been a member? Another great question. First of all, WIFS is, uh, has been around for a long time, over 82 years. That's a long time. Long time. And yes, indeed. And it's a national organization, and we represent the Baltimore chapter. Our mission is to attract develop and advance women in their professional careers. Now, I've been a member for the last eight, nine years, and I have served in different roles in, uh, in our leadership. I served as a treasurer, uh, the president-elect, the president, and now I'm back in the leadership role and I'm serving as co-president with Pam Gilmore. And Pam is the person that founded our Baltimore chapter back in 2009. And together our mission is to make our chapter be known as the most trusted professional organization for women. That is awesome. Tell me, why would someone like myself want to join WIFS? Absolutely, Debbie. And I would say, why wouldn't you want to join WIFS? The reason being is that, first of all, we've been, uh, we, we've, been, we've, been, uh, we've been around for a long time, as I mentioned, but our members, they're very diverse. You know, we have CPAs, we have attorneys, we have business owners, we have bankers, we have entrepreneurs, just like yourself, that, that are very successful at what they do. And a lot of our members, they're working in male-dominated industry. And it's so great to kind of get together with like-minded women, like-minded professionals, professionals, and share, you know, our challenges, what's working, what's not working, and, and share best, best practices. And not only that, be able to expand our professional network, to be able to learn from one another, to establish refer, referral partners that, that we trust and we know they're gonna do a good job for our clients and ultimately be an advocate for one another. Um, so this group offers so many different things. And I know a lot of our members, you know, they, they're in different phases in their careers. You know, we may have a young member that's looking to be mentored. And we may have another member that is looking to expand and develop their leadership skills or their marketing skills, or perhaps join a mastermind where they can collaborate with other professionals and share their best practices. So wherever our members are, what they're, whatever they're looking to, to find in a professional organization, you know, we wanna be able to offer those resources, not only from a national standpoint, but also locally here, you know, and, and to be able to do it in such a way that we're creating this trust, this sisterhood where we can allow ourselves to be vulnerable and challenge ourselves not only to grow personally, but also professionally. That's awesome. And I will say I have been a member for six years and the friendships that I have made during that time 
are so different than the friendships I've made in other networking groups. This is a group of women who really are out there for each other. And I love having the different, the different um, businesses that are there because someone might have a question for you and someone might have a question for me, but I might have a different question for a QuickBooks girl or for a human resource girl. And these members are part of our group and are just there to help us. And I love that part about women in insurance and financial services. So is there anything else that you would like to add? Because this has just been wonderful. And I know with this new normal that we have, we're doing more Zoom presentations. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, uh, some of the ones that are planned for the future? Well, we're very excited about our calendar for the remainder of the year. Obviously, because of this uh, pandemic, we can't be together, but we have uh, established a lot of virtual meetings. Again, we have um, our meetings are divided between educational and also fun. So we have a mixture of both how, uh, you know, things for us to learn. Uh, we just did a LinkedIn uh, presentation of how we can utilize LinkedIn during this time and how we can continue to um, expand our professional network. We're going to continue to have um, gatherings where we're actually just getting together with one another and kind of sharing what's been working and, and learning from one another too. Because as you mentioned, Deb, everybody's got uh, their own perspective. We, we see the issue through our own professional lens, good or bad. And when we're able to share that, only good things can happen. So I'm very excited about what we have lined up. And for anybody that is interested in learning more about our group, um, please reach out to, you know, our, go directly to our website. We have a Facebook page, like us on Facebook. Um, and we'll love to share more about, um, you know, our programs, what we're doing, and, and get you more involved with, uh, with, uh, with our group. That's awesome. Tell me, is there a connection on LinkedIn to women in insurance and financial services as well? Yes, there is. And, uh, and for anybody, again, who's interested, we're going to share that with everybody. And we're going to have our own members be able to share that as well so people can be connected and make it easy for, for, for people to find us. Fabulous. So thank you again, Christina, for joining me today. And for those who are interested, if you want to leave a comment in the, in the boxes below, please do so. And one of us will reach out and talk to you. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you soon. Bye.